Black men, nobody is your biggest op than you left behind in the hood. Mm. When you figure it out, when you figure out your game plan, and you got a you got a good a good thing going for yourself, and you making some money, and you things are on the up and up. I want you to leave the hood and never, ever, ever return. Don't ever look back. There is nobody who is watching you harder than the left behind in the hood. Leave them there and never return. Keep moving upward and onward. Like what happened in Atlanta yesterday, it happens all the time, unfortunately. But it's so sad to see people, see somebody who's actually... He got his own business. You know what I'm saying? Like, figuring it out in real time. And it be your own people. You know what I'm saying? Leave and never look back. Tell your story from a distance. Facts. Don't be of the hood. Leave the hood and never look back. The plan is to get out of the hood. Once you make it out of the hood, y'all, please stop hugging the block. She is telling 100% facts. And let me just start off by saying that I always like to give credit to the content creators. So you'll find a link in the description back to their profile. But she is telling 100% facts. Get the heck out of the hood. Stop glorifying it. Stop feeling like you need to be of it. Stop feeling like you have to go back and then show love to the hood. The hood ain't never did nothing for nobody. And more importantly, we have a responsibility to our family. We got a responsibility to our legacy. And we have a responsibility to our marriage and the person that we align with. And then we lay, to bed, lay in the bed with every day. Outside of that, you have no responsibility to anybody. And I am telling you as a person that has been carjacked in Detroit and a person that advocated for it. My story has long been told. So this is not something that's new. So for those of y'all that's new here. That story is still on my channel from years and years ago about, about exactly what happened. But when you are around people that don't want to see you do good or you are the one that start to elevate, but then they feel like you owe them something, what you then become is food. You become food, bro. They will eat, steal, kill from their own. What makes you think that you're going to be the one that make it out the hood and then you, go, you going back there and they don't see motivation? Right. I see it happen on YouTube today. I dropped a video that was basically highlighting what my plans on what my plans were, because this channel started off as a vlog. It was documenting my life and basically showing you my ups, my downs, the things that I like and that I don't like giving me my thoughts. And then also showing my life because uh, the very uh, slogan for this channel was that I live my life like an open book. And every single video that I drop, no matter what I'm talking about, no matter what it is, they could see a watch, they could see something. And thank God it's only on the internet and it's not in real life because the people that I surround myself in real life are people that are elevating with me. There are people that are going in the same direction as going, you know, as me. And shout out to the Patreon members, shout out to the bag chasers because the bag chasers ultimately have that same mentality. They look at it as motivation. They looking at it and they learn it from it. We learn it from each other. We tap into the discord. But thank God it only happens on the internet and it's not in real life and I can sleep good at night knowing that my family is safe, my wife is safe, my daughter is safe because every single time it's at least one, two, three, four, or five people that say, oh man, I can't believe you bragging, I hate this guy. And that's the sentiment, the same sentiment of the people that are in the hood, especially people that you may have grew up with. And it ain't just people in the hood, it's people that you grew up with in your family. They can be the very ones that take you out. I've seen countless stories of people killing their own relatives. It could be a girl that you lay next to. It could be the people that you're surrounding yourself with just in a general sense, or you may just be fooled because you're going into an environment that you ain't never been in before, but you're trying to show love to the people just because you trying to align with them based off of identity politics. That black, and I'm telling you, crime is perpetuated against the people that's closest to you. Usually, it does not come from just some random source. It doesn't. Nine times out of 10, if you find somebody that is successful that wind up getting clipped, it's either they was involved in something they wasn't supposed to be involved in with this person in uh, uh, Atlanta. I did a report on it on the Millionaire Morning Show this morning. That doesn't seem to be the case for him. Or it's somebody that's close to him that felt jealous or they want to get a piece of him or they didn't feel like he was doing enough for him. And so it turned into an op situation. The ops usually are people that used to be closest to you. 
and they feel as though you should have did more for them or they or you owe them something uh, something you owe them some kind of recognition you were supposed to give it up for them and all of that stuff i see it happen just in these spaces on the internet if somebody that you ain't never even met in real life feel feel like that you supposed to do something extra for them or you supposed to acknowledge them or something like that all of a sudden they turn into an op and, and they become the very people that's against you the most on these very platforms including tiktok instagram and youtube people feel like they got a vested interest in what you owe them and i'm telling you it'll be the people that's closest to you that clip you you know how they say keep your friends close and your enemies closer pay attention to your circle and continue to get out the people that show you who they are. Stop giving them extra chances. Stop going back to the hood. Stop trying to think that everybody is going to be happy because you got this new thing or your business is successful or you booming. Your business might not even be successful. You could be very much still getting it out the mud and putting everything you have into it, but they see the trajectory that you're going in and they will absolutely positively take you out thinking that you got something more than what you got when in reality you just document the process and you happy for everybody else, but everybody not going to be happy for you. Everybody not, everybody is not going to look at it as motivation. And the thing about it is it only take one dusty nigga that's around you to ultimately ruin everything that you'd have never built and ruin your life. It take one person, one dusty to just upend everything that you thought that you were. And then they throwing you under the bus. And next thing you know, it's over. That's the end of the conversation. I'm very careful. Look, when people show me who they are, I don't care if you're a woman, a man, a, a young person or an old person. At this point, the, the name of the game is self-preservation. We was never, ever supposed to, a lot of us was never predicted to even be in the places that we are today. You think that I'm going to make it out the hood and then I'm going to go back to the thing that I was out of in order to let them kill me? You out of your mind, bro. Never, never in a million years. Self-preservation, once you get past a certain age, is the name of the game. Yeah, you can play that game when you're young and all of that stuff. But when you get older and you start having stuff to lose and you start having people that depend on you and a wife and a daughter and all of that stuff and you want to see them grow up, man, I'm trying to grow old. They be calling you unk and they be thinking that that's an insult. I think it's a compliment because it's a blessing to get old. You got to be careful of your circle. And also, I was telling them on the Millionaire Morning Show this morning that people think that wealth is silent or that people is trying to downplay what they have because that just shows how much money you have. No, that just shows them that you ain't got nothing because you ain't trying to have them running up on what you got in order to take what you have just because they, they think that you got more than what you really. And I ain't got time for that, bro. It's over. And the people that keep glorifying where they from and they hood, that just shows me how ignorant they are. And how much further away I need to stay with them. Because the hood ain't never did nothing for nobody. For the people that keep glorifying it, when you get out of it and you get around a certain circle and you observe it and you look back, you realize how ignorant they sound. People keep thinking and repping something that they ain't even got no vested interest in. You don't own no property in it. All you ever known from it is death and destruction and drugs and, and, and issues and problems. And we keep glorifying it like it's something awesome. No, it just keeps you in this perpetual cycle of hate. And then it starts to bury deep inside of your heart. Next thing you know, somebody is clipping you off. It is unfortunate what happened to that dude um, over there in Atlanta. But it just shows you that the culture is still trash. And the things that we celebrate the most about it will actually get you killed. And if you want to continue to elevate and level up, you need to align yourself with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going in. Even when it comes to your relationships, the woman that you lay next to, she could very much be jealous of you. The man that you lay next to, he could very much be jealous of you. Vet for the direction that you're going in. Vet for where you're going to be and then put, let them people come into your life. And when they show themselves to be something different, get the heck up out of there. Don't mean that you got to hate them. It's just that we're growing in two different directions. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. I'm going to be in Houston this weekend. It's going to be lit. And then also on top of that, Teach Hanley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm curious as to whether or not y'all agree with her or y'all disagree with her. I'm out.